cloud gaming on the Switch is a simple means to an end in most cases. Now, some developers want to release their big, visually impressive games on the Switch, but they just won't work natively without some massive compromises. Now, while Japan is no stranger to cloud gaming on Nintendo's platforms, 3DS and the Switch, regions outside of Japan are still about a year in. Now, enter Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Cloud version on the Switch. Now, although the game has been seeing critical praise for versions of the game running on other platforms, the Switch version of the game hasn't seen much fanfare and with good reason. Let's take a look. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Leave us a comment down below and we may read it out on our bi-weekly show called the Famicast. Today though, we're taking a look at the cloud version of Guardian of the Galaxy on the Nintendo Switch in this performance review. Of course, being a cloud-based game, your mileage will definitely vary when it comes to performance. Now, I have a one gigabyte connection here in Japan and usually get 500 megabits per second or higher wired and around 200 megabits per second on wireless with very low latency, usually around like a ping of like four or something from like a speed test and stuff like that. Now for this game, I've been playing on a Switch OLED in both docked, wired, and handheld wirelessly. Now speeds and latency are decent, well, I guess there's really no way to test the latency on the Switch to my knowledge, but the Switch just doesn't compare to my other connected devices in terms of, you know, speed and stuff like that with the with the net. Now, just to be clear, you know, I'm not kind of advocate for cloud gaming taking over the gaming landscape or anything like that by any stretch of the imaginations, but I will say that in the past it has worked for me quite nicely with one other big game, the Japan-only Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the Switch. Now, if you want to hear more about that, you can definitely check out my review from back in 2018. But by and large, you now while there were a few issues here and there, I spent a lot of time in the world there, like over 150 hours, and was pretty satisfied with my experience. But, you know, with, with Guardians, I can't say the same to, at this point. Now, while playing the game on launch day and going through the mandatory, you know, connection tests and all that, things seemed to run pretty well for me. And, you know, that kind of made me just pull the trigger and just buy the game outright. Now, I don't know if it's a coincidence or what, but when I started playing the non-demo version of the game, the problems started. Now, I will say, when things are running smoothly, the game here actually looks quite nice. It, it does look like a lower spec version of the game, though, with lower quality character models and environments. I mean, this is something to be expected, as this game is cloud-based. Now, audio, on the other hand, never really skipped a beat, no matter what was going on with my connection or anything like that. Conversations between the characters never cut out for me, uh, the music and the sound effects were always on point, and, you know, even if the game appeared to be chugging visually, the audio was always crisp and clear. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy Cloud version is obviously, like I said before, not going to look as good as it would on this more power, on more powerful hardware or anything like that, but it can look good given optimal circumstances. Just don't expect the level of detail that you'd see on more powerful platforms or even in something that you might see in an optimized Switch game like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey. Now, while exploring, the stuttering and general instability can make things a little bit cumbersome to look around, to pick up items, and to make accurate jumps. Now, I think you can say, you know, to a certain extent, when starting out any game, uh, just as here with Guardians, you have to learn a lot of different things about the game. I mean, here in Guardians, you have to learn the overall controls, you have to get acclimated to character movements and momentum, uh, you have to also tackle conversation choices and more. I mean, the performance issues aren't always present, but when they are, the experience can definitely be disrupted here. Combat is where the real problems lie. Now, when the action hit, I experienced a decent amount of slowdown, making it a bit tricky to kind of focus on enemies and take them out. Now, other times, things would run smoothly enough so I can really get into the swing of things and take out some guys, so that was cool. But it, it seemed worse on launch day, but somehow got a little bit better afterwards. I don't really know why, but uh, who knows. I mean, it was really disappointing because I thought the character interactions and the gameplay, when it wasn't being bogged down, it, it could be really fun. Now, these things might be worked out over time, but as it stands right now, you may be in for a poor experience with both a wired or wireless connection. Now, with, with Guardians, I really think there's a lot to like with the actual game itself. Now, for this version, even with a pretty ideal situation when it comes to connectivity, I can't really recommend this game at this time. Performance was just way too inconsistent, sometimes running well, other times really bogging down the gameplay. Now, it's very possible that the cloud team at Ubitas, the guys that are responsible for most, if not all, of the cloud stuff on the Switch, these guys could work things out somewhere along the lines, but I don't think you should throw down your money hoping for that day to come. But let's turn things over to you guys. Did you pick up Guardians of the Galaxy on the Switch? 
What's your experience been like up to this point? Did you pick it up on another platform? Sound off in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope it was a little helpful or informative or something like that. Uh, if you like what you see, please feel free to drop this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, looks at classic and modern games, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.